Hey y'all, I'm back with a Valentine's Day look. And so far, I like how it came out. I'm not gonna lie. I want to show y'all my mirror that my mom made me. And as you can see in the corner, she didn't really finish. But you get the picture. You get it, you get it. And I want to show you guys my press-ons. Go follow her page. I'm starting off with my eyebrows like I always do. I'm just outlining the bottom. I'm really starting to feel like it's something with this eyebrow. I don't know. Maybe I just... I don't know. That eyebrow just is... It, it, it acts a little funny. And it looks a little funny too. But I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. I feel like most of the time I do them different. But this time I went and got them waxed at the nail shop. So they kind of look very precise. And I really wish I would have never let those people touch my face. Because my forehead is so textured right now. And it's breaking out really bad. Well, it was breaking out really bad. As you can see, I'm priming my lids. This is considered my base. I'm starting off with a full lid. I'm starting off with just the lid. And I'm using my NYX Vivid Bright Color Cream. Like I said, do not use with a flat concealer brush. A fluffy, a small fluffy brush will definitely get the job done. And this is in the shade Love Dose. I love this color. I have been having this for a couple of months now. And I've been waiting to use it. I'm probably going to use it again because I really, really love it. And it's, this is going to be my first time using it. So I, that's why I didn't know what kind of brush to use it with. But actually, I saw it on someone's tutorial. And I went ahead and copied it, the same color that she had. It's such a pretty color. And when, you get, when I get towards the end of this part, you're going to see me setting it multiple times because i want to keep the pigment there it's a really really nice pomade it's very very thick so you gotta i feel like you like you really gotta work with it it dry down almost immediately but you still need to set it here is here is me setting it with a flat brush from I'm using a shade I'm using a fuchsia pink shade from my James Charles palette I usually would show a picture but I didn't because I don't know why I didn't take a picture of my James Charles I actually didn't plan on using it I planned on using this other pink but I noticed that that pink was more purpley I needed this pink to be very very vibrant so I went ahead and just set it with the James Charles palette, with a pink in the James Charles palette. So now I'm going to blend it out with both of these colors from the Julius Place palette. I started off with the lighter pink, and then I went ahead and dipped into the darker pink to really make this blend together. As you can see, I am blending it out. I actually started with the lighter pink and then I went ahead and used the darker pink directly on top instead of going over my lid with the colors because I have hooded eyes. I want to keep the pigment more in my lid, more on top of my lid, and I want to make it like a fading effect going towards my eyebrows so i want to keep most of the pigment directly on my lid and i'm just blending it out with these colors to make sure that it has that blended effect as you can see i'm blending it out really it's, it's blending out really softly actually i thought that it was going to be kind of hard because of the pigment texture when you first dip into it but it actually, it blends out really, really well. And here is me setting my lid again, right before I continue to blend upward towards my eyebrows. Basically, I used four different pinks. Well, technically five. I'm going to dip back in 
to my James Charles palette. And I'm going to blend it out with a very, very light pink. It's almost like white. It's very, very pink. So here is me using that pink with a fluffy blending brush. And you can see it kind of showing up just a little bit. Not too much. But that's where the fading effect is going to come in. You're going to really see it once everything is all blended out. Because as you can see, the pigment color is dying down again. So I'm definitely going to go dip back into that fuchsia pink in my James Charles palette to continue to set my lid to keep the pigment there it's still there but as you layer the colors on top of your crease it kind of disappears it might have seemed like i struggled with this look but i actually did not mind setting it that many times to keep the pigment because every as you can see every time i dip back into that fuchsia pink the color showed right back up as bright and as pretty as it was before it's just that by you blending it out so much it fades away so i did set it once again and i'm blending it out with that pink still with that very very light pink i believe that this is my last time setting it i'm actually just setting the edges and I actually like how it blended out. I'm kind of going on top of what I blended by being very, very pigmented and the pink being very light. It seems like I'm going over my work, but I'm actually about to blend it out. And then you're going to see that my brow bone kind of looks bare because I didn't go fully all the way up into my brow bone so as you can see everything is almost all blended out but my brow bone is kind of bare i'm using these elf line and define tapes and the eyeliner i used was almost running out and i'm about to get a new one so i didn't show you guys which one but it's a it's a traditional black liquid liner I'm actually working on getting a new one because this one ran completely out on me during this look. I was kind of nervous doing my winged liner. I feel like next time I do it, it's going to be better. I feel like this time it wasn't as good as I could have done because I feel like I could have went more outward number one and then number two i feel like it could have been much much better it could have been thicker but this is my first time really doing eyeliner on camera and as you can see this is the finishing eyeliner i'm gonna go in with my elf glitter liner and it came out really pretty all i did was add it directly in the middle of the liner by the line being so thin, it kind of was hard to get towards the middle. But I actually went on top of the on top of the glitter liner and just added a little line on top to make it look like it was directly in the middle, even though it really, really wasn't. It was kind of like on my almost on my eyelash line because I have hooded eyes and I didn't want to go overboard with it so that didn't overpower the pink on my lid I really want the pink on my lid to show so I'm now I'm going back over it on top to make it look like the glitter liner is actually in directly in the middle of my gel liner and this is the finishing eye look. I think it came out very pretty. It was very nice. It wasn't too much. It wasn't so extra. Uh, this is my first time ever really doing a pink look. This vibrant. So I really didn't want to go overboard. I feel like I could have 
I could have possibly went overboard if I wanted to, but I didn't know how it was going to come out. And I definitely did not want to redo this tutorial because I had the the exact look that I wanted in my head before I started the tutorial. I didn't I did not wing it at all. I thought about this days before. And now I'm just doing my eyebrows. I feel like I've been doing them different every single time. But I'm really just trying to see what is good for my eyebrow. Like what technique is good for my eyebrows because I'm struggling. I am struggling, okay? Now I'm about to blend out the front of my eyebrows with a disposable lipstick wand and um i feel like this this is a good technique but i really need to get it down pat honestly i'm using less product when i do it like this also and now i'm gonna grab my concealer brush and i'm just gonna clean up right under my brow and this brow was very very satisfying for some reason so i just added this in nothing major and now I'm just going to finish up the rest of the brow. And I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did for this side that I did on the other side. And I really, I don't know, maybe this eyebrow was better. I'm doing my base and I'm using my e.l.f. foundation. I'm actually going to add two layers of this foundation because I want my base to be more full coverage. And I'm using my e.l.f. buffing foundation brush. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. total face sponge. These tools from e.l.f. are really A1. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try the foundation brush soon with a new... um with a new foundation but as of now i really i haven't been switching up the the tools that i use because they work so well and they're so affordable my sponge actually is not damp right now when this elf sponge gets damp it is so big it is way bigger than what it looks and um actually i just used it dry and I added another layer because I wanted to be more full coverage. I really like the finish of this foundation. So I wasn't hesitant to add a second layer for the coverage. And um, I'm just pressing it in with my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. So everything can sink into my skin and it can look really, really pretty on the skin. And next, I'm going to color correct with my LA Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn. And while that dries down, I'm going to add my cream contour. And I'm going to blend out my color corrector while my cream contour dries down. Overall, I honestly feel like this look, as of now, even though I'm only halfway through, I feel like it came out really, really good. And I even added a little more cream contour than I usually do to my cheeks. So everything can be full coverage and everything can be the same as far as the amount that I applied. And I'm blending my cream contour out with a clean side of my sponge and once again I used it dry just to keep the the coverage the same and now I'm blending up my contour with a small concealer like brush and I want to say that this brush set comes from Amazon I'll I'll link it down below if I can find it on Amazon because I know sometimes they're sold out. But it came in a 15-piece brush kit. And um, as you can see, now I'm blending on the side of my face. I just recently started doing this because I feel like, well, at least I felt like I was leaving a blank space there. I wasn't really catering to that part. 
of my face, like right on the side of my eyebrows. So I recently just started putting my cream contour there. And I honestly feel like my cream contour made everything blend out really, really nicely. I honestly like this side better than the other side once I blended it out. Maybe because I put more, but that side always comes out better than this side. It's still pretty. I really like the coverage that it's giving me. I like the I like the finish. Everything is tying in together really well. I'm blending my cream contour out with the side that I blended out my foundation with so it can sink into the skin and kind of do this disappearing effect that is really, really helpful. And now I'm just adding my LA Girl Concealer in the shade Toffee. I'm adding it right under my eyes. And yes, I'm adding a little more than I usually do. Just like I've been doing for the rest of my face. So it can be as full coverage as possible. Honestly, I'm really getting tired of Ellie Girl. Because I've been using it for so long. And I want to try a different concealer. But since I added a little more, for some reason, it came out really, really good. I don't like to pile it on my face. But it still came out a a medium like coverage, and I and I was still satisfied with the with the finish. My nose is my favorite part of cream contouring. It really snatches the nose and give it a really, really pretty like shape. Even though it doesn't, it doesn't do anything as far as making it look different it just really increases the shape of your nose whether you like your nose or not it's really just an enhancement makeup period is an enhancement it doesn't make you look pretty it doesn't make you look different it's supposed to be an enhancement you're supposed to want to bring out those natural features and natural shapes in your own face because your face is a unique thing that's the first thing people see and if you have makeup on it you just you should just want your features to be enhanced you shouldn't feel like that makeup makes you prettier because you should already feel pretty before you put it on now that my concealer is layered and i have everything i need on my face everything i want I'm just going to blend everything together. I spray setting spray on that side of my sponge so everything can just move around how I want to and blend it. I wanted to show you guys a very detailed part on how I do my lips, but for some reason I was not recording when I was putting the rest of it on. But as you can tell, yes, I am using an eyeshadow for my lip liner. Yes, I am using a eyeshadow. Because for some reason, ever since I tried this trick, one, the brown is more pigmented than any lip liner that I've tried. And even though it's not creamy and it doesn't move around, if you see in the video... My lips aren't moisturized either. I'm adding a red eyeliner to my waterline. And I'm going to add like a reddish, orangish, pinkish like color to the bottom lash line to make everything tie in together with the eye look. I did that very last. And then I put on some mascara to tie everything together. And we're at the end of the video. I'm just showing me adding some blush. I'm very natural with the blush. I feel like I should have added a pink blush. And I feel like everything would have tied together. It was still pretty. But the pink blush would have really set it all for the skin. So we're at the end of the video. I think everything came out beautifully. Everything was everything it came out better than what i expected 
but I definitely have higher expectations for myself. I feel like I could have done a lot better, but it really turned out uh, good. I think next time I do something like, like this, I shouldn't be scared to step out of my comfort zone. And here's the end of the video. I'm just showing you guys the finished look. I love everything about this look. I cannot wait to do another tutorial on eyeshadow. Thank you guys for watching. I love y'all.